on. Here, let me hold this up. This is my husband. He never wants to be on camera. Anyway, he makes these masks. Look at this. Hey, Cancer, you picked the wrong bitch. Isn't that great? Yay. We make these masks for a lot of people. Can you see it very well? There you go. Thanks, honey. That looks great. Anyway, um, I'm showing you how to, I do the uh, fudge brownie conyatas, the vegan fudge brownie conyatas that are dairy-free, peanut-free, tree nut-free, gluten-free. What else? They have sugar. Um, and they're for Wake and Bakery around the corner, who's uh, my one and only client. And I love her to death and enjoy supplying her with conyatas. So, this is what we're doing today, and this is just, you know, the dough that I use. And I just want people to see how I do it. First, I spread it in the pan, and then, I'm really a dough spreader, I'm not a baker. Um, and then it goes in the oven for 350. I like using one pan at a time, because then one can be cooling, like I have one cooling right now, I'll show you. Um, let me take this out. Uh, let's see, see, right here. And I have the lid just sort of resting on it, see? Just so that as it cools, it still keeps the, the hollow shape, which is what you want. In the end, you want the hollow shape. Okay, so back to spreading the dough in the pan for the oven. And of course you have to wear a mask and you have to wear a hairnet. And I like wearing um, the, the butcher's thing. And gloves, of course. Gloves are also um, not just for cleanliness, they also help spread the dough. And I figured that this would be a long video because it takes forever to do this. And um, it doesn't take forever, but it takes longer than the TikToks I put up, right? So this is a good way to see what it takes. You can always speed it up. But I figured the YouTube channel, the Cognata channel needs um, more content. And this is, I mean, even though I'm not great at it or even know what I'm doing, um, Gary V says to make, so we have to make. Because he's been right so far about everything else. I've wanted to change the shape of the ice cream cone since I was a kid. And making a cognata was sort of my way of doing it. I mean, if we were talking about an ice cream cone now, we would be, instead of using this fudge brownie material, we would be using um, ice cream cone batter. You'd pour it in and halfway to the lip and then you'd have to use the lid for it to work. And at some point on this channel, we will do that. I'll show you how to do that. But it is true, I wanted to change the shape of the cone. I remember my mother coming around the front of the, one of the carts, shopping cart. I'm 54, you start losing words, it's kind of crazy. Shopping cart. My legs are kicking and my mom's like, you're not gonna change the shape of the ice cream cone. It's like this, it's like this. You're not gonna change it. And this is a square, and like she pulled the cereal box, I'm like, this is a rectangle. Can't change that either. Turned a can over. This is a this is a circle. You're not changing the circle. How old are you when you're sitting in one of those shopping carts anyway? I don't know, four. I can imagine what I was thinking though. Oh, I'm gonna change it, alright. But I, I get what you're saying, lady. Okay. Spread the dough. You know, I said my one client because my business is just a year old, this LLC, the Chicago Cognata Company. And 
you know, instead of freaking out or trying to flex that I have more than I have, it's just, I think it's a good idea to just be very honest and be like, this is, you know, the beginning. You know, and everything's the beginning with this business so far. I mean, this shape used to be uh, porcelain. It used to be one shape that I would form with, again, ice cream cone material, and I would tell people, oh, you just fill the cavity. Well, that went over like a lead balloon. No one wanted to say fill her cavity. And then it was wooden, and then it was this and that and the other. It was all kinds of different things until I finally got the, the pan idea going. And now we can make multiples and people can have them finally for holidays to bake anything really, any batter or dough that you use. Melted chocolate's good in the fridge and then take it out and it's the new Easter bunny, only it's a pig a pot of mine or a hip hog. The sounds you're hearing are uh, in the office. We're making aprons like this for other companies, not just our own. And um, making shirts. We make political shirts. We do all of that. Um, I'm listening to DJ Spin in the background. So shout out to him, if anybody can tell, or if there's some sort of audio watermark going off. I'm gonna be arrested, so let's give him a DJ Spen, S-P-E-N. Although I don't think you can really hear it, it's turned down so low. So you see how it does take a while to do this. I mean, I've only got to kind of spread and that's before I even put um, a top on it you know but I've got one in the oven I've got one cooling so it's all gonna work out great I could probably tilt this like this a little bit no I guess I can't Good. oh there we go cool I just think that's more I don't know you can see everything has everybody voted? I'm looking at the television. It's nothing but um, political commercials. I authorized this app. Well, sure you did. Your big mug's on it, man. Okay. We spread the dough. This doesn't have to take this long, but if it's night time and you've already baked all ding dong day and you yourself are slightly baked you get into spreading the dough perfectly yeah you know, it kind of helps to do this too what i'm doing so action Again, I'm a dough spreader. <laughs> uh, wear, aren't you glad I'm wearing a mask and a hairnet? My hair is apocalyptically long. I think I'm now resembling every character in The Witches of Eastwick. Look up that movie, it's classic. Everything I like is a classic now. It's so weird. Yeah. So the Chicago Cognata Company is a year old. And we've had two in-store demos, uh, safe distance demos with the hairnet and the mask. Mainly the mask is so important nowadays because of, um, you know, you don't want complete covidosity to set in. That's a real term. I wish you could hear this music. 
I don't want to get arrested by the two of you police for using the wrong words or songs or I don't know what, Christ. I already have to say this video was not made for kids. Because I think, let me see, did I swear? Fuck, I don't even remember. He's busy. Oh, there's no one to ask. It's been quite a year for a lot of people, right? But wait till you see my bags. They got the sticker, they're so creative. Anyway, it's been quite a year for everybody. All my bar friends and restaurant friends are closed. Actors, performers, theater people, vendors, everybody's really screwed behind this. I just um, saw on the news that some uh, high school uh, basketball coaches are going to tell the governor to save it and to put it in his, you know, pipe and smoke it because they're going to have practice with masks and they're going to have games without people in the crowd, without crowds. And, um, you know, I'm kind of for this behavior a little bit, this little pushback. It's kind of punk rock of them. I think it's great. Look, we're almost done. Yay. And, you know, like the coaches say, they're going to do everything safe. So that's great. I mean, as safe as possible. I mean, these kids want to be seen, right, by talent scouts. I think that's the point. I can't imagine it being for anything other than potential money. Because let's face it, it can't totally be healthy, but whatever. I don't know how people can exercise with the mask. I, I don't get how they do it. I mean, even in the winter, we're probably going to be cracking a window, right? Everybody? Even in cold places like Chicago? You got to let the COVID through. You got to let the bullets pass. Right? Everybody's hustling. Look at this gorgeous shape. This is ready to be shaped, and that takes one second. Look at this, Gord I mean, my God. So proud, it's not done, hold please. I need to go find my vegan lid. Okay, so it goes, and I can smell the other ones are almost done, they smell delicious. And these I'm, that have been cooling, I'm gonna pop in the freezer. Now you want to snap all the snaps, even though this is dough and I'm just, I'm just shaping. And I'm not going to put it in the oven with the lid because it would make it cook twice as long. You do have to do that with batter, but with this, you don't have to do this. But I did snap all the snaps just to shape it and you'll see why. Like when you undo it, you have minimal left over and I gotta find the culprits. Oh, there's one. He goes there, he goes here. But basically what you see is the legs have been in, imprinted now and the, it's just a better uh, indent. See the, the snout or nose is more detailed. I'll put this aside. Okay, the other one's about to buzz. It just did, perfect timing. So now I have to put um, in the freezer. I don't know who did this. That was, I'm gonna fire that person. Okay, so this goes in the freezer just to cool. And now this one has to come out of the oven. Won't be using the rubber gloves, I'll be using the lid. Mmm, piping hot. So great. So that has to cool on this little rack I have 
Now this goes in the oven. Setting the timer for 24 minutes. Putting these bad boys back. Now the ones I just put in the freezer are only gonna be there for like four minutes and 20 seconds. And then I'm gonna put them in these bags. The Chicago Carnata Company, and it has the fudgy brownie and it says everything on it, like that they're gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, um, and peanut and tree nut free. Now, these other ones that are cooling, I'm actually gonna put a lid. Let me show you what I'm doing. <laughs> so, here I'm gonna put a lid on to rest just over it. I'm not gonna push it in because this is still gonna cook a little bit as this is cooling. And I just want that lid when it's sitting on it to, uh, you know, make the shape hollow still, even as the dough attempts to rise. And I'll show you what that looks like. This is just out of the oven. And then we just have to put that on like that. Ooh, put that to the side. And um, again, then I'm gonna pull these out and then they will be put in their own bags with their own stickers. Oh, these by the way are the chocolate conata chunk cookies. Um, and this, this guy is just a little lighter in color, you notice? Then the fudge brownies, much darker. It's still delicious and you still soften it up with like five seconds in the microwave. And then you can fill your conata with anything. It can be you know, peanut butter or nut butter or honey or whipped cream seems to be super popular. A lot of people don't know that. Cream cheese would be good. Fruit. All right, so you're all cut up. You've seen the new labels. And you've seen how uh, the, um, exp the the line works. Like one's cooking, one's cooling, and then I stuff another one. And I'm about to stuff another one, but I don't think you want to see see that. So, okay. Bye.